Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, for you guys, we are predicting the NHL playoffs. Super, super excited. I did my NBA playoff predictions yesterday, um, so go check that video out. Um, just posted it yesterday. But we have the NHL playoffs. I was waiting to do it yesterday because there was still one more game that um, the Avalanche actually clinched the Central Division. Um, so yeah, we're going to be predicting every round and up until the Stanley Cup Finals, obviously. Um, so yeah, here we go. Um, I'm going to start off in the Eastern Conference, like I did for the uh, NBA. Starting with the 1 versus the 2 wild card, And that is the Boston Bruins versus the Florida Panthers. Um, so first, Boston Bruins... Historic season, you know, they broke the wins record for anybody, um, and they broke it by three, um, and I mean, you, you can't say, you can't say enough about how good of a season they had, especially, you know, David Pasternak, he had almost 60 goals, he might have even hit 60 goals, I'm not even sure, um, but um, then you have on the other side, the, and obviously Linus Olmark, um, he scored a goalie goal, which is super rare in the NHL, and other than just the goalie goal, he was had a great season. Um, and the other other guys who had amazing seasons like McAvoy, you know, Marshan, Bergerons. Um, so yes, Pasternak did hit sixty one goals. Um, but yes, um, then you have the Florida Panthers who won the President's Trophy last year, which is what the Bruins won this year for um, most wins slash best team. I think that's what it is. Um, this year is a bit of a down year for them. Uh, Matthew Kachuk played like an MVP, um, but other than that, it was definitely a lot of, you know, not great for them. You know, Matthew Kachuk had 109 points. Um, he was carrying the squad. Um, I'm happy to see Florida made it, um, but I think they, they go out in five games here. A lot of people are saying, oh, the Bruins might get upset in round one. I don't see it. I see the Bruins in five games, so. Because the Bruins fans travel really well. Like, you go, you see any games, like the Bruins, there's always a ton of Bruins fans there, so. Then we have maybe the best matchup of round one. Maybe. Um, you have Toronto Maple Leafs, Tampa Bay Lightning, and for Toronto, it's can they win in round one? They've always had trouble winning in round one, I think. Last time they won round one is 2013 or something. That might be wrong, but I think it's kind of accurate. Uh, they just they struggle in round one. It's kind of like a meme at this point, but I think this is the year they get past round one, and they will do it in seven, six games uh, against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, the my I know this is kind of irrelevant, but my Sens beat the Lightning the other night, and I can just look, tell you guys like. Although the Lightning already clinched a playoff spot, you know, they had all their guys playing and stuff. They just didn't look that good. Um, they had a power play that kind of kept them in the game, but they really got outplayed and stuff. I, They're, they're not as good this year. I, I could definitely, everyone's saying, you know, Tampa could turn it into another gear. Um, yes, I believe that, but I got Toronto winning because let's, I mean, Mitch Marner has been t terrific this year. And also, Matthews has been great. Um, Nylander has been s sneaky good with 40 goals. Um, but I do have t uh, Toronto winning in seven, six games. Then, um, we have Carolina and Islanders. Originally, I was thinking sweep. Um, but I will give the Islanders a game because of Ilya Sorokin. He has been very good this year. Um, the Islanders, you know, they're a team that doesn't score insanely much. Uh, they they play, no offense, they do play some boring games. I think Islanders fans can probably agree with that. Um, but yeah, like I said, Sorokin has 31 wins, 2.34 goals against, and a 924 save. He single-handedly might have helped them get in the playoffs. Um, and Carolina, Carolina, I think, could do win it all this year. They're too good I think they have so many good, good players. Um, and if they can get good goaltending all uh, playoff long, it's it's going to be a quick series here in five games. The Islanders will take maybe one at home, but that's pretty much it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, anyways, then we have maybe, like I said, this is another exciting, exciting series between the New Jersey Devils and the New York Rangers. Two Teams from New York slash, well, New York, the battle of 
New York and New Jersey, I guess. Um, but uh, this is tough because the Devils, coming into the year, you're like, uh, they might make the playoffs. They have surprised a lot of people. Um, Jack Hughes has been terrific. Um, and they have other guys like Jesper Bratt who are underrated. I think Nico Heischer is a little underrated because he is a captain. Um, he's very productive, I think. Um, so Dougie Hamilton's been a, you know, a Norris kind of caliber defenseman. He's been very, very good. I, I don't think he'll be in the Norris, like, conversation, but I think he definitely deserves to be in there. Um, and then the goaltending has been surprising. Vitek Vanacek has been really good um, for the Devils down the stretch as well as, you know, their other goalies, Mackenzie Blackwood, uh, Kier Schmid. I'm probably forgetting somebody. Um, and then the New York Rangers, who have been a good team all year, but they got even better at the trade deadline. They got Patrick Kane, and they got Val- Vladimir Tarasenko. Um, I, ju- I, g- I got the Rangers in seven games. I do. I think the Rangers are a team that could definitely win it all. They have Igor Shosturkin. Um, I think he started to play a lot better. He had a little slump at the beginning of the year. People were a little worried. Um, I think come playoff time, he's going to be amazing. Um, and they have so many good players between Panarin and Zabenajad and Kreider and Kane and Fox, Ke- Keandre Miller. And obviously I mentioned Shosturkin already. Um, and by the way, one thing, the Rangers, both of these teams have great fans, but I think those Rangers fans are just amazing, you know. They have that one goal chant, like, where they score, they chant this, I don't know, they got this, like, special goal horn. Um, but I got the Rangers in seven games, winning that last game in New Jersey, moving on to the second round. Okay, let's head out to the Western Conference for Colorado, Seattle. I hate to break it to you. Seattle has been a great story. You know, they don't have, like, an amazing roster, um, but they've been pretty solid all year. Um, you know, obviously making it for the first time in uh, their team's history in the second year. And I just don't see them winning a game, unfortunately. Um, I heard a lot of people saying this, and I totally agree. Nathan Cannon is, like, a man on a mission right now. He's He had a hat trick last night to clinch the Central Division for him. He's been terrific, and Miko Rantanen has 50-plus goals this year. He, he's he been so good. Um, he's super underrated. You know, he, he's he got a, like people are saying, you know, quiet 50-goal season. I mean, he's been that good. He has 100 points. They have two 100-points players. And then they got guys like Kale McCarr, Devin Taves, um, Terry Lekkinen, Gabe Laniscog didn't play any time this year, but I think he's going to be back for the playoffs um, and Colorado has been so good all season long. So I think they sweep um, Seattle in this one. Um, four games to none. Okay, moving on. Um, this is going to be an intriguing matchup, the two versus the three. Um, the Dallas Stars versus the Minnesota Wild. Um, this is tough because both these teams are so good. Um, all these teams in the Central Division um, finished very close to each other. Um, but I got the Stars taking this one in seven games. I know this one's going to be um, seven games. Um, but I think Jason Robertson is just having an incredible season. And Caprizal has been good, too. Uh, for this um, series, sorry, um, back. But um, I think seven games, yes, um, you got Ottinger in goal for the Stars no matter what. Um, but for the Wild, who do you play? You got Fleury, you got Gustafson. Both have been really, really good this year. Gustafson's been a surprise as a Sens fan. I'm, I'm very sad because we had him. We had him. He, I thought he was playing well for us. You know, we get rid of him, like, all right, all right, it's fine. And then he just had a breakout season. Um, but uh, I got the Wild and se- or the Stars in seven. Um, Jason Robertson, like I said, been terrific. Rupe Hintz has been good. Um, Jamie Benn has been good. Uh, they got guys like Wyatt Johnston, like younger guys doing well as well. And then Miro Haskin, one of the better defenders in the league. 
Um, so yeah, I got the Stars winning in seven. Um, and then another one, the Jets and the Knights. The Jets sneaking in the wild card um, second. And the Knights, um, I feel like they don't get enough credit um, because um, they they were the one seed. And I didn't even know that until the last week or so I checked. And I'm like, wow, they're, they have had an amazing season. So got to give them credit. Um, I think the Jets will make this a lot more interesting than people think. Connor Hellebuck, I think, will play terrific in the playoffs. I just don't think it'll be enough. Um, the Jets have been a good team. They've been slumping as of late, but I feel like they're just not getting the results. You know, I look at a lot of their games. They're out shooting opponents, but they seem to lose some of those games. Um, and I think they'll do well, but um, I got the Knights in six games. Um, the Knights just have so many good players. I'm excited for Jack Eichel. This is, I believe, his first time in the playoffs, so... Um, congratulations to him. You know, I think since it's his first time, I think he's actually going to do super well in the playoffs. Um, and then next is a rematch from last year. These teams did play last year. Um, the Oilers and the Kings. The Oilers took it last year, and the Oilers will take it again in seven games. Yeah, I I don't know. I think the Kings, you know, put up a will put up a good fight, obviously. Um, but I do think... Um, the Oilers will come out, uh, I think with the Kings, you know, you got Kopitar, Kempe, Fiala, uh, guys like Philip Deneau, they have, they have a lot of really good players, um, and their goaltending's been good, they got Corpus Salo, hopefully some Phoenix Copley playoffs, he's been super, um, exciting to watch this year, um, uh, but Connor McDavid and Leon Drysaddle are on a mission to win a cup, and I just don't think they're gonna go out in the first round. Uh, they've had so good seasons, and if they go out in the first round, it'd just be super disappointing um, for all hockey fans, not even just Oilers fans, because everyone wants to see McDavid win a cup because, I mean, what he did this year, 150 points, that's like, you know, that's like someone doing a rookie, be a pro, and then their, free, their first season they get 150 points. That's, that's how um, crazy McDavid's season has been. So back to the Eastern Conference. Boston Bruins, Toronto Maple Leafs, and I could see the Bruins going out, but I, I think they get past the Leafs. I, I think they do, um, and I think they do it in six games um, against the Leafs. Like I said, Marner, Matthews, Nylander, Tavares, Bunting, those guys, Riley, having great seasons, but Boston's so good. It, it's actually kind of unbelievable how good they are. Like I said, they could get really unlucky and lose the series. Um, Sam Sonov's been good in goal. Matt Murray's been a little better this year. Um, but I, I think br the Bruins will win. They're they're so good at home. Um, and that's super important in the playoffs. Uh, as I think it's raining outside. <laughs> um, I think six games here. Linus Allmark, been so good last this year. I really hope he is just terrific in the playoffs as well. Then we have Carolina versus the New York Rangers. I think if you ask people who would win the series, it'd be kind of like um, a 50-50 split between the Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Rangers. Um, and I got to go with the Rangers again. And I have them winning in six games. Nothing against the Carolina Hurricanes. Great team. They've had breakout players like Marty Natchez. Um, yes, Barry Kukaniemi's had a good season. Obviously, Sebastian Ajo, Svechnikov is out for the playoffs, and I think that hurts him a little bit. I don't know if he's going to be back. He's currently hurt. Is he going to be back by now, by this time? I just don't know. Um, but I think it comes down to the goaltending, and Carolina's got great goaltending, but Igor Shosturkin, last playoffs, was a beast, and I think he helps the Rangers win this series in six games. Um, so, yeah. Then we're heading over to the Western Conference Finals. We got or no, not yet. Sorry, second round. We got the Colorado Avalanche and the Dallas Stars. I got to root kind of for the Stars here cuz you know, the Avalanche made it last year. Um but I'm a huge McKinnon fan. Um I I think I think oh, I think the Stars will win in 7 games. Um like I said, don't get me wrong. You know, McKinnon is playing terrific. I can see the Avalanche easily winning a cup. 
this year. But I got to go with the Dallas Stars on this one. Um, I want to see a guy like Jason Robertson win a cup. He's been so good this year. I just, he doesn't get any credit, it seems like, you know. Um, but I feel like it's going to come down to, um, I don't know what it's going to really come down to here. I think this this is going to be a series with like four overtime games. It's going to be that tight. Um, but I do have the Stars taking it in seven. Um, so let's move on to the next series. Here with the Golden Knights versus the Oilers. Oh, man. This is tough. And I do have the Oilers taking it in six games. Golden Knights have had an amazing season. But like I said, McDavid, terrific, terrific season. Um, 150-plus points. Um, dry Saddle, he's a guy who just is out there doing an absolutely amazing job. Doesn't get enough credit. Um for the season he's put up as well. And guys like Nugent Hopkins are underrated too. Um, Zach Hyman. I think Evander Kane will play well in the playoffs. And they added guys like Matthias Ekholm at the deadline. For these type of series. You need the defense. And then you got add a guy like Ekholm. He's going to be really good um, against this Knights team. Um, and like I said, the Knights have a great home atmosphere. They do all those like pre-game things. Cool things with like the drums and stuff. Um, but I don't think they're going to the Western Conference Finals this year. I think it's the Oilers um, versus the Stars in the Western Conference Finals. And then you got the Rangers and the Bruins. Do we pick Boston? You know, they had this historic, historic season. Or do we go with the Rangers? Um, and yeah, I'm going to go with the Rangers. Psych, I'm going with the Bruins. Um I understand the possibility of them losing in the first, second, or third round. I just think they've been on a roll all season. They haven't really had a streak where you're worried about them. They haven't had like a bad losing streak. And I just think they'll win this one in seven games. Um, it's going to be cool. Allmark versus Shesterkin. Both have great seasons and goal. And then you have... You know, Marshan and Pasta and Mergeron and DeBrusque and McAvoy versus Panarin and Zabenajad, Kreider, Kane, um, Lafreniere. I don't, you know, this is going to be a star series, lots of stars on each team. Um, but I, I'm going with the Boston Bruins here in seven games. So then the Western Conference Finals, the Oilers and the Stars. The Oilers will win this series. No, I'm going with the Stars. I I think a lot of people are saying it. You know, the Stars are going to make a run this year, and I think this is the year um, to make a run. They lost to Calgary last year in seven games. I believe that was the first round. This year, I just think it's different. We saw what Ottinger did in goal last um, playoffs against Calgary. He was really, really good. And they have so many good players. Um, like I said, it's going to be seven games. I'm not sure who gets home advantage because they're both the two seed. Um, but I do have the Stars taking this one. I think it's going to be six games. It's going to be an overtime victory to win in game seven. So then you have the Dallas Stars and the Boston Bruins in the playoffs. And the Stanley Cup Finals. And I'm always up for a good upset. I, um, I think an ups, a huge, it would be a huge upset if the Stars beat... Um, the Bruins, and, oh, sorry, guys, I'm, I'm speechless here, this is kind of tough to pick, um, again, this is just a prediction, so, you know, there's no wrong pick, um, I didn't want to just go, like, the one seeds and pick Colorado, Boston, or Vegas and Boston, I'm going with the Dallas Stars to win the Stanley Cup playoffs, it may seem like I'm a Stars fan. I'm not a Stars fan. I just think um, they have so many good players. Like, So do the Bruins. And it's going to be a tight series. Um, it's it's going to be super exciting to watch. Uh, but I do have the Stars ending the Bruins historic season in seven games. A lot of seven-game series. Uh, let me know. I, I'm picking the Stars to win it all. I might do a bracket or something. Um, they do have a bracket challenge, so I think I'm going to do that, and I'm going with the picks I did in this video, um, but that is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Um, have a great weekend, um, and look forward to those Boston Celtics videos coming out um, for their game one um, game against the Atlanta Hawks. Um, and go Celtics, and um, good luck with your guys' predictions. Let me know who you think is going to win the Stanley Cup Finals this year, um, and let me know how I did on my predictions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.